You are the stars, and the world is watching you. The right, the right to play on any playing field, you have earned it. The right to study in any school, you have earned it. The right to hold a job, you have earned it. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose by stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Was the ramparts we watch was so gallantly streaming, and the rock is regular, the bombs bursting in, gay proof through the night that I flag was still there oh say does that star spangle banner yeah wait for the land of the free and the home of the Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Debbie Stout, Mayor of the City of Allen, and I've been asked to provide the invocation for today. So if you would, please join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to gather remotely here today. Please be with those who are working to alleviate the virus that is keeping us apart. We ask that you comfort those that are ill or in need of healing. Lord, we are especially thankful for the Special Olympics and ask your blessing upon these athletes, their coaches, families, and friends. Please watch over them and give them the strength to play like a champion every day. We ask these things in your holy name. Amen. Wow, that was a beautifully sung national anthem from Special Olympics athlete Shedek Willite. And we are thankful to Officer Chance Graves from the Allen Police Department for carrying the torch, along with Allen Police Honor Guard for the wonderful flag presentation. Also, we would like to thank the mayor of the city of Allen, Debbie Stout, for the sweet invocation, along with the city of Allen for being such a gracious partner of Special Olympics Texas for this annual event. Now, to the rest of the show, good morning and thank you all for joining us today for virtual Breakfast with Champions. As much as we wish we could see everyone in person, we want to ensure health and safety for all. 
but trust us, you will not be disappointed with the event. If you joined us last year, you will be tremendously impacted again this year. If this is your first time attending, be prepared to be moved by the stories you hear today. I am Gracie Hunt, a Special Olympics Ambassador and former partner player, and it is my pleasure to be your host this morning. Who here is ready to celebrate the inclusion revolution? When Eunice Kennedy Shriver founded Special Olympics, she understood that people with intellectual disabilities are a vital part of society and that the injustices they face needed to be righted. Today, millions of people continue experiencing exclusion. People of all ages, races, genders, cultures, backgrounds, and abilities. With Special Olympics athletes leading the way, Special Olympics has launched the Inclusion Revolution, a five-year program that will actively engage everyone, creating real social change. Because when we all promote equality and acceptance, we all benefit. Special Olympics will recruit over two million new athletes and partners, bring unified school programming to 40,000 new schools and universities, and empower, cultivate, and train 15,000 new athlete leaders globally. We invite all of you here to open your hearts and minds and commit to working together to create a world where everyone is included. We ask you to choose to include. We are honored to have so many taking the time this morning to watch this event who truly believe in this amazing revolution and are willing to act on it. It is my pleasure to introduce Tim Martin, CEO of Special Olympics Texas to kick off our morning followed by Alex Hubbard, Executive Director of the North Region, to acknowledge the special individuals that helped make today possible. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tim Martin, CEO and President of Special Olympics Texas, and I want to welcome you to Breakfast with Champions. Thank you so much for being here. You know, these great events don't happen at Special Olympics without sponsors, so I want to take a moment to recognize our Breakfast with Champions sponsors for today. I also want to recognize our great sponsors statewide that are there with us through thick and thin. Thank you for your continued support. All the hard work that goes in logistically to the Breakfast with Champions is thanks to our Breakfast with Champions committee. So I want to take a chance to recognize them as well. We also have another group that works year round to make sure the resources are there for our athletes and volunteers in the community. So our local resource board, we really want to make sure that they have a chance to be recognized as well today. You know, these times have been very unique for us at Special Olympics Texas, but in a lot of ways, if you look at it, there's a lot of lessons to be learned. The isolation we felt being at home, the lack of access to family members and friends, the inability to just freely go and do what we want, that is missing. But you know what? If you really look at it, in so many cases, you're, you're living the lives of so many of the athletes at Special Olympics Texas. It's an opportunity for you to understand and empathize with them and to make sure you understand that this is a powerful moment when you don't have the chance to share your greatnesses, the talents that you can't, can utilize to change society, a voice to be heard. These are great opportunities for you to realize it's a chance for us to move forward. With that at Special Olympics, we've worked really hard in these tough times to get to those points. Over the last two years, we've really struggled to change this organization and put it in a new direction of inclusion, health, and life-changing experiences for our athletes. And as we drive forward with that mission, we wanna make sure that you're all aboard to be a part of that. So let me talk to you a little bit about the story. A lot of you heard this my first year here. Met an athlete in high school by getting in trouble and sentenced to Special Olympics. I certainly felt like I was too good to be there. 
I was better than all of those athletes. I was better than any individual in that room. And then I realized I wasn't even close. Those individuals made sure I felt cherished. They made sure that they honored me every time I walked in with a smile. They made sure I never went unrecognized. They, were, they had the power to change the human spirit. And that's what Diana, who was the individual I was paired up with, did for me. Long before there was a label called Unified Sports. But I will tell you folks, we have over 50,000 amazing individuals that can change your life if you open your life to them and allow them to come through those doors. Then we also had some difficult moments where we had a parent tell me one time as we had a dance team performing on stage at opening ceremonies, as she pointed at our athletes and said, those people should not have to see things like this. Those people. What is those people? Those people is an easy barrier to put ourselves between someone else, to either label them different, label them less, label them not as important. That won't happen at Special Olympics Texas. So we came up with a motto at that point. We're all one of those people. Get over it, play unified. Unified is a way for us to change the world through inclusion. What is unified? It is the backbone of Special Olympics. It is an opportunity for those with and without intellectual disabilities, or as we prefer to call them, different abilities at Special Olympics, to drive forward, build those relationships, build those social opportunities, life-changing opportunities like employment, but also health and sport and drama and art, a way to make sure that we have a stage to reveal the greatness that lies in every human being. Unified is an amazing program. We have some great partners and amazing growth to talk about in that area as well. The UIL, the world's largest interscholastic program, has officially said we want to be involved with Special Olympics. And vice versa, we said of course we do as well. And we anticipate 200% growth over the next four years. That's 100,000 more athletes coming into our movement. A chance for us to be there and support so many new lives. But also, when you just think about athletes coming into our movement, that's 100,000 partners as well. More volunteers, more families. Special Olympics, we truly are unified. Also, health. Did you realize Special Olympics is the world's largest provider of, of health services to individuals with intellectual disabilities? But it's not just screenings anymore, folks. In the last two years, we've grown to do preventative health, healthy lifestyles, follow-up exams, and follow-up care, and no charge to our athletes through our great networks. We continue to push that forward, and we need your support as we do that. But most importantly, we want everybody to realize you can be involved at Special Olympics, you can be unified, and we need you to be involved. But more than involvement, folks, during these times, this has been the leanest time in Special Olympics history, not in just in Special Olympics Texas, but throughout the world. We have incredible work being done. We've completely revamped our programming to both be in person and virtual, but we need your support today. Please give to Special Olympics Texas, and in return, we guarantee to you, we will deliver amazing programs to our athletes, volunteers, families, and all of those that choose to be a part of this great inclusive movement at Special Olympics Texas. Good morning, and thank you all for joining us today at the Dallas Virtual Breakfast with Champions. While we understand that this event is a little bit different than in years past, we are truly grateful for you all being able to join us this morning. Thank you to all of our speakers for sharing their great stories with Special Olympics Texas this morning. We hope that these stories help paint a picture of the greatness of Special Olympics, the greatness of the people involved, and what support from people like you can truly help all of us achieve and build together. A little bit about my journey with Special Olympics. I have a cousin who was born with Williams Syndrome, and she has truly served as an inspiration to all of our family for our entire lives. She brings so much joy and passion to life and really exemplifies what life should be about. I saw a lot of the same joy and passion when I was able to volunteer at a Special Olympics bowling competition in Austin in college. That experience is truly something that I will remember forever and really something that got me to where I am today in this position with Special Olympics. It was just so great to see how one event like that can really bring everybody together. 
And on that note, the Special Olympics movement currently is all about inclusion and bringing all of us together. As the inclusion revolution pushes forward, our focus is on continuing to provide joyful, exciting, and unique opportunities for all of our athletes, families, friends, and partners. While we can't be in person together today, we are very appreciative that we get to spend this time with you all virtually. These times have been challenging for all of us. As we have been talking about this morning, we are working, we are working extremely hard to continue to engage with our athletes in a number of different ways. Whether it's our ESO Connected virtual platform, our virtual state competitions, our Special Olympics Texas podcast, or our SOTX YouTube channel, the number of ways to stay connected with us is truly great, and we hope that it will keep expanding even once we are back on the fields and back at competitions. But these advancements cannot, cannot happen without your support. So we truly appreciate anything that you were able to give this morning to support Special Olympics Texas and our movement towards inclusion. As you have heard and will continue to hear this morning, our athletes, families, and all of our participants deserve our 100% effort to give them the best experience that we can, and that's what we are committed to doing. Thank you again for spending part of your morning with us, and we look forward to seeing everybody again out on the field soon. Thank you, Tim and Alex, for those words. Thank you to all of those mentioned that played such a big part in putting this morning's event together. We could not support all of our great athletes and programs without the help of our wonderful partners, one of those being our law enforcement officials in our communities. To speak this morning on behalf of the Law Enforcement Torch Run, please welcome Allen Police Chief Brian Harvey and Officer Chance Graves. Well, good morning, and thank you for joining us with Breakfasts with Champions. Law enforcement has had a long relationship with the Special Olympics, and we're proud to be involved in, in this breakfast and with all the, all the fundraising and all the great work that's done and all the athletic events that are done throughout the state. Uh, in our local chapters and law enforcement we're proud to say has on the average raised approximately 1.4 million dollars for Special Olympics. We know that Special Olympics is wholly funded by donations and, and we're just proud to, to step up and support along with all the other sponsors. And I'd like to just take a minute to thank all the other sponsors of Special Olympics that, that go into producing such great events and, and great games and and really just great training for the athletes. These athletes are, are very, very special athletes. And I know over my involvement with the Special Olympics, I've certainly probably gained more dealing with the athletes uh, than, than maybe the athletes have uh, gained dealing with me. So we just appreciate uh, Special Olympics. We appreciate you being here and we just hope that you enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. All right, good morning. It's uh, nighttime here on my back porch, but uh, we just wanted to thank everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying your Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Uh, this is the uh, second annual Breakfast with Champions. These are my boys. This is Ryder and River. Can you say hi? Hi. It's bedtime, so we're, we're trying to hurry and do this. My name's Chance Graves. I'm a police officer with the city of Allen. Um, I've been involved with LETR for four years now. Um, I just want to take an opportunity to uh, thank all of you guys that are watching right now. All of you that registered and that are uh, supporters of Special Olympics, uh, we want to thank all of our sponsors. Uh, I want to encourage anybody that if you're watching to um, to donate if you can, and it doesn't doesn't mean money. You can always donate money. That helps us uh, hold events for our athletes throughout the state and throughout the year, which are very important to our athletes. It helps encourage good health for them, um, as well as gives them, you know, the opportunity to participate in sports and stuff. So, Ryder, do you know what the word inclusion means? Um, no, I don't think so. So inclusion is kind of when, when you make sure everybody's uh, a part of something. So you, you make sure they're, you know, that they get to play a sport. If there's a sport that you're playing, should everybody be able to play that sport? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think, how would you define inclusion? It's like a world where everybody gets included even if they're different. Hey, that's that's really good, buddy. Um, the Special Olympics, I think their way to determine it is, um, I had this plaque made and it stays in my uh, in my house and it says inclusion, a world that celebrates all abilities. So that's really important to our family. Um, I encourage my boys to include everybody that they can, sorry. 
most of all, I want to thank all of you for the support that you guys give to Special Olympics. Um, I want to thank the families, to all of our athletes. I know that your support means a lot to them, and we want to be there to support you as well. So to our athletes, I want to let y'all, you guys know that we miss you. We look forward to coming back to your events. But I want to encourage you guys to keep practicing, get stronger, don't change for anybody, and remember to be better than you were yesterday. We love you guys. We'll see you all soon. Thank you, Chief Harvey and Officer Graves, not only for what you do for the city of Allen, but also for your time and commitment to the law enforcement torch run and passion for our athletes. We get to personally experience these amazing individuals serving our communities through law enforcement across the state, whether that is by carrying the flame of hope at a competition, visiting our athlete birthday parties, or hosting and supporting fundraising events just like this. We are grateful for the remarkable work that law enforcement does for our athletes and organization. Each year, law enforcement across the state combines to raise over $1.5 million. So we hope you will join in those efforts today by making your own donation by using the link provided. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce two friends who have gotten to know one another through unified, inclusive efforts on the unified FC Dallas team. This FC Dallas Unified team allows athletes with, at, with and without intellectual disabilities to compete together and create strong teammates and fresh friendships. Please welcome Noble Hunt and Scott Wint. I'm Scott Wint. I'm a Special Olympics athlete. I compete in Special Olympics for over 18 years, competing in nine different sports. I played with Unified athletes, both like football and soccer. Competing with unified athletes gives me the chance to show them my skills and to learn new ones from them. It helps me build new friendships like with Noble, gives people a chance to know others who may be different in the team spirit. Playing on the Special Olympics Unified FC Dallas soccer team was a, such a great time along with the new unified athletes. I got to meet and practice with the pro team, pro athletes. All of my teammates have helped me guide, have helped me and teach me to be a better goalie for the team. SOTX has given me a lot of chances to play more sports, competing with different athletes and to have new experiences. Hello everyone, I'm Noble Hunt and I'm a senior at St. Mark's School of Texas. I've been a partner player for the Special Olympics Unified FC Dallas soccer team for the past three seasons. Working with Special Olympics has taught me incredible life lessons and left me with so many great memories. The respect and inclusion that Special Olympics teaches is one of the most valuable lessons we can learn in life. As Scott said, the relationships you are able to create in a team atmosphere are truly special. Playing as a partner on the Unified FC Dallas soccer team has given me the opportunity to serve others by encouraging and coaching them in a sport that I'm so passionate about. While there are certainly standout individuals on the field, like my friend Scott here, soccer requires everyone to work together in order to succeed. Truly the world's game, everyone is an equal on the pitch. When all the hard work finally pays off, and someone conquers something that they've been struggling with, the energy and the joy of the Special Olympics athletes is unrivaled. Special Olympics Texas has done an amazing job creating a unified environment where we can all come together to be competitive, build character, and leave an impact on those around us. Thanks for joining us for the Breakfast with Champions. Thank you, Noble and Scott, for sharing your stories with all of us. You both are a true testament to how Special Olympics programs impact and inspire all of us to be advocates for society, promoting respect, encouraging others, and creating communities focused on abilities rather than disabilities. What a powerful message and an amazing example of what can happen when we choose to include rather than focus on our differences and stand apart from each other. 
unified, pairing individuals with and without intellectual disabilities together to grow in life together is the movement of Special Olympics. It is unifying communities around the world, and it has an enormous presence here in Texas, especially as it grows in our schools through Unified Champion Schools. I would now like to welcome to the stage an incredible family who has been involved with our organization for years. And I don't mean just because they have a family member who participates as an athlete, no. This entire family is involved from an athlete, unified partner, chaperone, coach, volunteering, and even head of delegation. This family does it all. Please join me in welcoming the Seba family. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Seba. This is my husband, Don, and this is my daughter, Rachel. We are also known as Seba, Seba 1, and Seba 2 by several of the athletes in our delegation. When Rachel was born, there was nothing to indicate that she had an intellectual disability. She was healthy, happy, and hitting all the growth milestones. We noticed that she didn't say a lot of words, and at her two-year-old pediatric checkup, we talked to the doctor about her lack of vocabulary. We decided to have Rachel tested. We took her to Easter Seals for speech, fine, and motor skill testing, had neurological tests done, MRIs, and even had her adenoids removed so that she could speak instead of worrying about breathing. It was determined that she was developmentally delayed. Having two older normal children, we weren't sure what to think or do. We kept looking for answers to Rachel's developmental delay. We enrolled Rachel in speech, fine, and gross motor skill therapies. We also enrolled her in the Garland ISD Early Childhood Program. When Rachel was four, we moved to Allen and we enrolled her in the Allen ISD Early Childhood Program. Her fine and gross motor skills improved, but her speech was still lacking. We continued to try different programs and started to see some speech progress. We kept hoping the light bulb would go off one day and Rachel would be normal. During an IEP meeting when she was 10, her diagnostician mentioned Special Olympics. It was a hard realization as parents that Rachel would probably always be intellectually disabled. We wanted her to be able to participate in sports, so we tried regular soccer and regular swimming lessons. She had fun, but it became obvious that she wouldn't be able to keep up. At age 11, we finally got involved in Allen Special Olympics. Rachel's first sport was gymnastics. She had so much fun, and we could tell this was where she needed to be. I remember some parents reaching out to us at a competition telling us how much Special Olympics had done for their child. They thought we would really be, enjoy being a part of that group. We weren't sure we wanted to get any more involved than taking Rachel to practices and competitions. Rachel tried swimming next, and that was her sport. She swam two years in the developmental pool, and when she moved to the deep pool, she was a natural breaststroker. She continued to thrive in swimming and participated in other sports, basketball and track and field. Rachel continued to improve in sports and gained her voice and confidence. She made so many friends and participated in other Special Olympic activities besides sports competitions. Special Olympics gave her so many outlets to just be herself and be accepted for who she was. In her sophomore year, Rachel decided she wanted to try out for the Allen swim team. She did, but she didn't make it. But that didn't stop her. She tried out again in her junior year and made the team. She swam for two years with the Allen swim team. Competing at Special Olympics gave her the skill and confidence to want to try out and believe in her success. Rachel learned all the strokes in no time and became one of the highest seated breaststrokers in the Special Olympic State competitions. Remember I said we weren't wanting to get involved in Special Olympics? Well, Don and I have been on the Allen Delegation Steering Committee several times over the last 19 years in various roles. We are involved in our annual auction every year, and between the two of us we coach eight sports, and I'm currently the co-HOD for our delegation. Special Olympics has become our life and our family. We couldn't have wished for a better experience for Rachel. She has made so many friends across the state. We are so proud of the athlete and person Rachel has become, and it's all because of Special Olympics. Good morning. I'm Don Seba, also known as Seba One. And my wife gave much of the history of our path with Rachel and Special Olympics. I feel that uh, Special Olympics has greatly enriched my life and given me many opportunities to be much closer with my daughter than I might have been otherwise. 
coaching and playing Special Olympics uh, unified sports gives us a bond that we'll have forever. Uh, my wife mentioned how Rachel talked, didn't talk very much when she was young. Well, those days are long gone, and she's very talkative now. Uh, when she uh, applied for work at Top Golf, they quickly saw how social she was and made her a greeter. And she's been there for uh, been there for two years, and she's just recently got some uh, been given some more responsibilities. The competition of Special Olympics, along with the friends that she's made, gave her the confidence to succeed in life. For me, I find the time coaching and other activities of Special Olympics to be extremely rewarding. I'm in, incredibly grateful for all the changes it's made in my life. So, Rachel, would you like to say a few words? My name is Rachel. You know, Siva Fink. <laughs> no? Okay, so what's your age? I am almost in my 30s. And uh, oops, how long have you been in Special Olympics? For 19 years. Okay. What's your favorite sport? In I like all the sports. And what sports? And what sports do you compete? Basketball, tennis, volleyball, golf, soccer, tennis, swimming. Where do you work? Top dog. And how long have you worked there? Almost two years. What do you like about your job? I like to the atmosphere and people who I work with. And how has Special Olympics changed your life? I know um, I have made a really good linker to my team. Okay. And what's your goal in Special Olympics? Go to Nashville for a dog with my dad. And I got to meet my boyfriend, Peso Lippis. <laughs> oh, you did. What delegation is he with? Wah, wah. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you very much for having us. I hope that's shown you how Special Olympics has changed our life as a family. Don, Elizabeth, and Rachel, your love for Special Olympics is a true testament to what this organization is about and the impact it not only makes on the life of an athlete, but on the lives of an entire family. We thank you for your passion and dedication to work with us to continue to make this organization and our communities even better. Please consider making a contribution today to help support families like the SEBAs and all 58,000 plus individuals and families across the state of Texas who participate in Special Olympics. It is now my pleasure to welcome our final speaker, an athlete who has overcome some tough attitudes growing up and exemplifies what true grit and hard work can accomplish. Please join me in welcoming Kari Freeman. Hi, my name is uh, Kari Freeman. I am 26 years old. I, and I was born in te Dallas, Texas. When I was young, girl, I was treated like I didn't fit in when I was trying to. And I didn't have many friends go growing up. The other kids didn't ask me to hang out, ask me to hang out or anything with them. And people used to call me names that were hurtful to me. I used to get to, I used to get bullied a lot when I was in elementary school all the way through seventh grade when I lived in Plano. I found out about Special Olympics when I was in ninth grade and it would, it completely changed my life because I met friends that were bullied and went through the same, the same things I've had gone through in school. Special Olympics has helped me understand friendship, courage, bravery, how to care for elders, each other. 
I play now with some of my best friends of the Allen Special Olympics team. I play basketball, foot, flag football, powerlifting, swimming, and soccer. My flag fo- uh, favorite sport is flag football because I like the speed of the game and I like co- competition. In Special Olympics, I've I have gotten to to be part of some great experiences. Last year, I got to represent the Team Texas with my friend Kevin in our unified Red River Showcase flag football game against a team from Oklahoma. It was a great game. And, of course, Team Texas won. This year, I also got to play in the unified basketball game. (laughs) Uh, Basketball, I mean, basketball game with the Texas legend G League team and also our partners from Toyota. That was a lot of fun, and I got nominate, uh, named the MVP of the, that game. One of my favorite things in, is playing for, for the FC Dallas Unified Soccer Team, but it was not easy. It was not an easy road to get to this team. I tried out in 2015 with my buddy Zach Parcher and didn't make the team. But over that year, I kept practicing to get better at soccer and I put in the time, sweat, and tears uh, trying to get better. One year later, I got a phone call from the coach of FC Dallas team, Coach Schroeder, and he asked me to if I wanted to join the FC Dallas team. And I, I was really proud of myself of how I made the FC Dallas team and how much hard work had paid off for me. Since then, I've, I have gotten to meet a lot of, of famous pe- soccer players. I was really amused. I used the same effort to get a job. I worked at Market Street in Allen, and it's a great store to work at. The customers are really nice there, and I I, I have worked at Market Street for three years. I just recently got a raise from working there for so long and I am proud of myself for that as well. Special Olympics has helped me build up my confidence and I'm so glad I've found it. It's truly changed my life. Thank you for being here this morning and for letting me speak about Special Olympics. On behalf of Special Olympics and athletes like me, I'd like to thank our sponsors and our donors. I hope you will support Special Olympics. Your support will truly make a difference in all our lives. Click on the link 
in the comment section and donate today. Thank you. Kari, thank you for being a Special Olympics athlete and pushing this movement forward. It is so difficult to listen to these volunteers, athletes, and their families without being moved. All of the stories you heard today demonstrate the importance of the Special Olympics movement. We are all more alike than we are unalike, as Maya Angelou said. We are all one of those people. This movement is truly about creating a fully unified future for everyone. On behalf of the athletes, thank you all for being here at the 2020 Virtual Breakfast with Champions. Today, you all have made a significant impact on the lives of over 58,000 Special Olympics Texas athletes. Thank you again, and we will see you here next year.